Hello everybody. So first off, excuse my voice and nose and all of this good stuff. I'm, I'm all congested right now. So what I was pretty much doing is documenting where my hair is right now. Um, well, back then in April, it's my hair has always been a thin texture or a thin. It's always been thin, but um, I wanted to recognize the length. Um, the shorter parts is normally where my leave out is for my sew-ins and everything else is usually braided up. Um, my hair is rather thin, it's always been thin, so I guess I'm not really that much concerned. But the main purpose of me wanting to do this was to have my hair catch up with one another. This is the side that I normally leave out on my sew-in, so as you can see that is real reckless right there. On this side yeah it's it's pretty pretty bad also and then around my edge line was pretty bad too um at this particular moment i'm not sure where it is but this is how i braided it down so this braid pattern is for this particular hairstyle that i wanted obviously if you want a middle part you'll do a middle part and so on and so forth from there but I normally do a deep side part with my hairstyle so that's the way that I decided to braid it and as you can see it's not really that great of a braid pattern either I decided to use some Shea Moisture um, products on my hair for my moisturizing and cons uh, my moisturizing and sealing and I also used Miel's um, almond or almond oil I don't know why that's a tongue twister but right now you could just see me latch hooking my braid within the French braid so that it'll stay and it pretty much stayed the entire time that I had this hair style and so this is the hair I know it's backwards model model glance braid I got this from my local beauty supply and it was $9.99 a pack I'll make sure to link that as well as all of the other uh, products that I use in the description box below for you guys and so we're just gonna start crocheting um, I did not do like a double or a triple knot or whatnot because I knew it would have been very hard to take out so I just did the one pass through and I didn't have any issues with any of these coming out with this particular hair
so the way that I braided or the way that I decided to do the top was for a specific reason right now I'm just about to go around um, the front and right side of my edge line or my hairline and lay down the naps with this uh, eco style gel and the reason why I didn't put it all the way on the edges is for this reason um, once it started to grow out um, especially with my new growth within the parts of the braid it looked way more realistic even when the wind blew it just looked way more realistic so that's why I didn't take my latch hooks all the way up to the front of my uh, braid and stuff I actually didn't even start the braid at the front I wanted I did it this way specifically so I would have room to play around with uh, gelling down my hairs around the edges of my hair so um, that is what worked for me um, you may want to if you're used to having your braids all the way down you could do it that way I just did it that way just for the sake of me having some room to play with it and I didn't want to put that much stress on my edges since as you can see I'm working on them um, they are a lot stronger as of right now this again was filmed back in April of this year but I absolutely love this hairstyle. I did it multiple times. And I'm going to do it again probably in a new year or so. And that's pretty much it, guys. Nothing really extravagant. Nothing too hard to do. But um, if you have any questions, leave them down below. And I'll be certain to ask, answer them for you. I'm going to leave you guys with some pictures of probably about three weeks later. And again, if you got any questions, let me know. I'll see you guys in the next video.